If you are also updating the images of your listing on Amazon and after doing too much attempts, you are still unable to change that. And whenever you upload images to your product listing by editing that listing from Seller Central and click on save and continue. And after 15 minutes or one hour or two hour or maybe one day, you still see the old images on your listing without getting all of those new images updated, which you have just updated on your Seller Central. So if that is the case with you, then no need to worry. In this video, I'm going to share with you a different method of uploading images. So you can upload your images from that method via flat file and that issue will be resolved. So to learn this method, you only have to watch this video completely till the end without skipping any part. Because in this video, I'm going to explain to you each and everything step by step on screen. But before getting started, I was there and I sell my products on Amazon, eBay, Shopify, ClickFunnels and Redbubble. And on this channel, I share my knowledge with you people so you can do the same and build your online business. So if you are interested in learning about the fastest and easiest way to make money online, which can give you profit in your first 7 days, then make sure to sign up for my free 30 minutes webinar from the link below so you can also achieve financial freedom like me and leave you a 9 to 5 job. So without any further delay, let's start the video. So as you can see here, I'm on amazon.com and here I have searched a product bamboo tray because in this method, you need to download a flat file from Amazon Seller Central and put your image in that file and then re-upload that file to Amazon so Amazon can update your image from that file to your product listing. So after searching your product, you need to open your competitor listing or you can just open your own listing as well because we just need to find the category of the product. So after opening that listing or your listing, you need to find out the category. So for that, you need to go down to product information page and from product information page you can just find the category here in bestseller rank tab so in front of bestseller you can see that the main category is kitchen and dining and the subcategory is serving tray so when i click on that so here you can see that the serving tray is at the end so this is the whole hierarchy which is showing us the category so you can see that the main category is kitchen and dining then dining and entertaining, dineware, serveware, serving dishes, and then at last serving tray. So in order to navigate to that category, we need to go step by step from the kitchen and dining to serving trays. So for that, just go on Amazon. And from top left corner, you need to click on the add products we upload under the catalog section. And after that, from the right side, you need to click on get product template. Then click on product template and select your marketplace. So in this case, it's amazon.com and in your case, it can be your marketplace. That amazon.co.uk or Amazon Australia or any other country in which you are. So just click on amazon.com. And after then, you will be able to see this page. From here, you need to select the category of your listing. So I've already tell you that how you can find the category. So go on category and navigate that. So kitchen and dining, dining, dineware, serveware, home and kitchen, Kitchen and dining, dining and entertaining, dineware and serveware, and from dineware and serveware, serveware, serving dishes, serveware, serving dishes, trays and platter, and then serving trays at last, serving tray. So as you can see here, we have just navigated to the exact category serving tray. So select that and go down, select the marketplace, which has already been selected, go down and just click on generate template. So when you click on generate template, that template file of your category will be downloaded to your PC and then you can just open that file in MS Excel or even in Google Sheet. So as you can see here, I've downloaded that file and opened Google Sheet. So from that file, you can see that there are multiple sheets under that file, like instruction, images, example. So you just need to click on template. But in case you need to get information about the images, you can just click on that and read all of that stuff. But I'm not just going to read that stuff in this video, so you can just read that later. I'm just going to dive into the template page. And from here, you need to follow all the steps that I'm telling you in this video. So in order to update the images in your listing, you first need to select product type, which is in this case, tray. And then you need to type seller SKU from your seller center. So that SKU will be uh, different for every product. So you can just type the SKU here. And in a brand name, you just need to select the brand name here. So if you have downloaded the file from your account, so your brand name will be automatically fetched from your account. So after selecting product type, seller SKU, brand name, you need to fill product ID. So from here, product ID type, you need to select ASIN or you can just type ASIN. And then here in product ID, you can just type your ASIN. Okay. So after filling all of these five fields like product type, SKU, brand name, product ID and product ID type, you need to go on image section. So here you can see that images and here you can see that other image URL one 
other image URL two three four five six seven so that means we need to paste the image URL here and after that that URL image will be uploaded to your Amazon listing so now the question is that how you can grab the image URL so for that you need to go on Google and type post images and after searching that you can see this first link postimages.org click here and from here you need to click on choose images and then you need to navigate to your image which is in this case bamboo tree so you can see that this is the image and i can just select that image open here and you can see that the image upload is completed and here you can see that there are multiple links so we need to grab this second link which is direct link and when you grab that link so before copying that link and pasting that link you need to first verify that this link is working or not so you need to paste that link into the new tab and click on that link so you can see that this link is opening but this link is opening in that website so now you need to again paste that link into the same url and paste that link again and then click on enter so as you can see that after pasting the link for second time i'm able to see only the image without any website so this step is a must if you don't do this step you just copy that link from the website as soon after it gets converted and paste that link so it will not work so you need to copy and paste this link in the browser two times because first time it will not work and when you search that link for the second time then it will work so after that when this link will work like this so now you can copy the link of that product from the top copy and go on that file and paste it here and after pasting click enter so now in that way if you want to update more images like two images three or maybe seven so you need to repeat this process step by step for all of your images and grab the link of all of the images in the same way so after filling out all of the link you need to do the last thing which is fill out this partial and update field here so in this update and delete field you just need to type partial update and you need to type partial update same as I type. You have to make sure that there must be no space between partial and update and P of partial and U of update will be capital. And after putting that here, you just need to save that file. And after saving that file, you just need to go on Amazon Seller Central again. And from here on the same page where you have downloaded this template, you can just see the second tab, which is upload your inventory file. And here in upload inventory file, you just need to upload that file. So for that, you need to click on browse files and browse file you can just navigate to that file and upload that file so after uploading that file you can click on upload file and when your file will be uploaded you can just check after 30 minutes or one hour your images will be updated on your listing on amazon so do try this method with your listing and let me know in the comment box below if this method works for you and if you don't understand anything in this just rewatch the video again and again and try to follow all these steps properly the same as i did so that's it for today guys, I hope you enjoyed the video and learned something great from it. So if you really found my content informative and helpful for you, then make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel as well, so you can watch more and more videos like this in the future. And if you have any questions regarding this video or any other topic regarding e-commerce, then you can just chat with me anytime from the link in the description below. So let's meet in the next video, till then take care, bye.